our existing version of Taylor's theorem was really elegant and the proof was also very short and cute. Now we want to give a Taylor's theorem with reminder term and the proof is not so elegant. Now to do this what we are going to do is we are going to reduce a function f from u to r to a one variable function. And the way to do that is we are going to fix a point x in u where we are going to write down the Taylor series expansion and consider the function f of x plus th where h is in Rn. Okay, and now we are going to treat this function as a function of the variable t and apply the classical one variable Taylor's theorem that we are now very familiar with. Now to do that we have to repeatedly calculate the derivatives of this function the higher order derivatives of this function with respect to t and we need a formula for that. The next technical uh, looking lemma will take care of this for us. The lemma looks complicated because notation has to be set up but the proof is uh, rather easy. So f from u to r is ck smooth. We are going to define define for h h in Rn the object the function h dot delta. So this is dot h dot delta. This is a function from u to r and it's defined by h dot delta of f at the point x is nothing but h1 d1 fx plus dot 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 hn dn fx. If you carefully observe what we have done is we have treated this dot as the standard dot product and the expression on the right hand side is exactly what you would get if you blindly just take the dot product between the vector h and the uh, operator nabla treated as a vector okay so this is sort of like a formal definition this has no meaning so far okay for each positive integer positive integer r less than or equal to k we denote we denote we denote by nabla dot f r f power r uh, sorry uh, h h dot nabla power r of f to be the function from u to r defined by defined recursively by defined recursively by recursively by h dot delta r f is equal to h dot delta uh, of h dot not delta I should read it as grad h dot grad h dot grad per r f is equal to h dot grad acting on h dot grad of f h dot grad power r minus 1 of f okay so what is essentially happening is recursively this object h dot grad power r minus 1 acting on f is a function from u to r then you take h dot grad of that okay now you require r to be less than or equal to k because when you work this out you will notice that derivatives up to order r will occur when you actually sit down and take these derivatives okay so this is well defined this is well defined defined because because f is ck smooth now fix so this was just set up for this uh, technical lemma fix x in u and let h in rn be such that x plus th is an element of u for all t belong to close 0 1 
okay then then dr by dt of f of x plus th so taking so this should be dt power r so taking the rth derivative with respect to t is nothing but doing h dot grad power r of f of x plus th okay so you can convert the derivative on t to taking derivatives with respect to this new operator h dot grad okay let's prove this the proof is not hard proof for r equal to 1 this is just r equal to 1 this follows immediately this follows immediately immediately from the chain rule from the chain rule let's see why that is the case we have d by dt of f of x plus th okay this is nothing but gradient of f at the point x plus th at the point x plus th uh, then you have to take the derivative of x plus th with respect to t and that's just going to leave you with the vector h with the vector h okay so this is just I, of course i must put a dot product and this is nothing but d1 f of x plus th h1 plus dot 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 dn f of x plus th hn so the base case of the induction is straightforward now assume 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 the result holds result holds for for 1 2 3 dot 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 r minus 1 all of these are less than k okay now we have to show the result for r we have to show the result show the result for r fine so that means we have to compute we have to compute d r by dt per r f of x plus th which we know is nothing but d by dt of d r minus 1 by dt per r minus 1 god i hate this notation for higher derivatives uh, f of x plus th okay which we know by induction hypothesis is nothing but d by dt of h dot grad power r minus 1 f of x plus th okay and this is just by the definition of h dot grad uh, uh, and the fact that the result holds for the one variable case this is just h dot grad power r f of x plus th so the proof was just uh, essentially uh, symbol pushing where we have just used the induction hypothesis as well as the base case of the induction okay now in one of the exercises you are asked to expand out what this h dot grad power r is going to look like in terms of the higher order partial derivatives so please do that now proving taylor's theorem is a piece of cake uh, all the hard work has been pushed inside this uh, lemma i will just prove one version leaving the integral form of the remainder to you taylor's theorem with reminder so this uh, approach to taylor's theorem is notationally not pleasing but it illustrates the value of what i like to call the tea kettle principle that is uh, the tea i'm not going to elaborate with the story please search tea kettle principle on google to get a story of why this is going to be called the tea kettle principle the basic idea is if you are confronted with a complicated problem reduce it to a simpler problem we have already solved taylor's theorem in great detail multiple forms of the remainder term and all that in one variable reuse that technology so that's what we are going to do let 
f from u to r b c k smooth b c k smooth fix x in u fix x in u and let let h in r n r n be such that the segment the segment x plus t h is in u for all t in 0 1 okay then we can find we can find a number a number t naught in 0 1 such that f of x plus h is nothing but f of x plus h dot grad f of x by 1 factorial uh, so technically i should write it like this h dot grad f x at uh, h dot grad f at the point x 1 factorial plus dot 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 h dot grad power k minus 1 f at the point x plus uh, no at the point x at the point x by k minus 1 factorial plus the final reminder term which is what we were interested in this is nothing but h dot grad power k of f of x plus t naught h divided by k factorial. So, this, this is going to be the reminder term. This is the reminder term. Okay, so the statement looks a bit complicated, but the proof is just reduction to the one variable case. So, how does the proof go? Well, consider the function g from minus epsilon 1 to r defined by defined by t goes to f of x plus th this is well defined because the entire segment from x to x plus uh, h is fully contained in u and u is an open set because u is an open set i can sort of push this a little bit further and take it to minus epsilon so i must write for some some suitable epsilon suitable epsilon greater than 0 okay so if you choose epsilon small enough this is actually well defined from minus epsilon all the way to 1 then usual Taylor's theorem gives g of 1 so by Taylor's theorem Taylor's theorem one variable case one variable case we get g of 1 is nothing but g of 0 plus g prime 0 by 1 factorial plus dot 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 g power k minus 1 by k minus 1 factorial plus g the kth derivative at t naught by k factorial where t naught lies in 0 1. This is just the classical Taylor's theorem. Now the result is exactly done the previous lemma previous lemma finishes the proof i am not going to elaborate anymore it's rather easy previous lemma finishes the proof so we just reduced everything to the one variable case and we have got a formula for taylor's theorem admittedly this is not as elegant a formula as what we got before for the taylor polynomials but that version of taylor's theorem has the deficiency that you only know that the reminder term is rather small but you don't actually know it explicitly this is a course on real analysis and you have just watched the video on taylor's theorem with reminder